make your way into this community in the Kusigo local government area of Anambra State and you can hear a pin drop. Communities deserted and also left in ruins. Two officers of the Nigeria Police Force were killed here and these burnt houses are allegedly the aftermath of the deadly attack. Apart from killing my area commander and one other officer, they abducted one of my inspectors who was rescued yesterday during the ongoing operation yesterday at the scene of the incident in the neighborhood. And in the process of rescuing that one, the inspector, about eight suspects of the IPOP members were arrested by my men. It was a combined operation between my men, the military and other services. Home of one barrister, a fine age of four, who is a legal counsel to the proscribed group, was also set on fire. Other buildings around were not spared. When a whole very senior officer came, maybe without arms, to make peace in his own lo locality, where he resides and is murdered in cold blood and burnt down, there are men under him who are gallant and who are able to even go to any war. They are bound to react. But what I'm saying is that if they said it was IPOB and they came to, uh, it was Ifanyi, but it's Ifanyi that, uh, Jofo that invited them, they should have handled Ifanyi Jofo squarely. Because they told me that you are those officers that came that started burning those places. Yes. But my uncles and my aunties, they are crying now that those officers came and started burning everywhere. At the police headquarters in Oka, the brief commissioner of police recaps what triggered the crisis. He declares Mr. Ifai in age of four wanted. I would like Nigerians to know that as we speak, but it's age of four, an IPOP member and his cohorts have been declared wanted by the command. And I will seek the cooperation of law abiding Nigerians from north, south, east, and west that wherever they find this individual, they should report to the nearest police station or any other security agency for possible arrest and prosecution based on the rules and laws of Nigeria. The community is now calm, but the earlier charge atmosphere affected movement as residents still fear police arrest or renew clashes.